What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. Today I got a bone to pick. <clears throat> so, yesterday I did an online order at Walmart on their new little grocery app. And uh, always in the past it has not been a problem. And this might go further than Walmart, but that's what I want to talk about. Um, back here, I'm fixing to cook something. But we're, we're going to get into a store, but let's talk about this real quick. So, i uh, got a sleeping Great Pyrenees right here, protecting all this food. Right here, we got some farm fresh goat meat. This is a, from a goat, a male intact buck that we butchered here on our farm. Fresh as it gets. Got a shrimp, or a bowl of uh, large shrimp deveined. I think. Yeah, they still got the tails on them. And then we got a bunch of vegetables. We got some jalapenos, onions, bell peppers, purple onions, mushrooms, squash, zucchini. Got some seasoned salt and some black pepper. And then these uh, scour sticks or shish kebab sticks, whatever you want to call it. But let's get back to the goat meat. So, I did an online order at Walmart. Like I was saying, we got the smoke from the grill. And I went ahead and I purchased some ribeyes, I purchased some sirloins, and a uh, five pound tube of 80-20 ground beef. And we don't have any ground beef, we don't raise cattle anymore, we don't really have the land for cattle. We got 20 acres of mostly wooded pasture, and uh, in the past we've always raised sheep and goats. And right now, I don't know if you guys can see behind me or not, but we raised the goats. Most of you that follow this channel know that. And that's, that's, that's what we do better at is the goats because our land better suits the goats. Well, anyways, back to the story. Walmart said, okay, we got it in stock. So on, <clears throat> on the online ordering system, whenever you order online and you go to pick it up, it says, on your way, please check in and let us know that you're on your way to pick up, pick up your order. So I'm on my way, it said it was going to be ready between 6 and 7, and I'm on my way over there. And I hit the check-in button, and it tells me where to park and all that, it shows me where to go. But before I get there, I get a notification that says, um, <clears throat> we do not have this in stock, and there are no replacement items to replace this with. And I'm thinking, okay, well all of a sudden I get two more within just 20 seconds. And it was for all the beef I had ordered. So sure enough, I get there, he loads me up, he says, sorry, we did not have any other steaks, you know, because there's a, when you get on there on the app and you do your order, I'm trying to get out of the sunshine, when you get on the app and uh, do your order, it says, are you okay with uh, a replacement item, a similar item, in case we don't have what you ordered exactly, and I say yes, and um, this time, they did not have anything, so I'm like, okay. So I think about it for a minute and I pull over and I go ahead and go in Walmart because I wanted to see this. I keep seeing this on the news, on the mainstream media, see it on Facebook and everything else. The beef shortage in the United States. And it boggles my mind because we live in Oklahoma and you can't hardly drive a mile down the road without seeing a cattle farmer or beef farmer. I know the beef's out there and um, I just don't get it. I guess this might be going hand in hand with all the processors being close. I don't know. But for whatever reason, there is no beef in the uh, local Walmart in the grocery store here. So that leaves me back to the goat. Thank God we raise our own goats, which this meat is way better than anything I can buy at the store anyways. Um, I know what's in this meat. There's no chemicals, no steroids, no antibiotics, nothing like that. Grain fed, grass fed uh, meat. And that goes with our pork, it goes with our chickens we raise, the goats, all our vegetables. You know, I think a lot of people, this, this whole uh, pandemic going on in 2020 is teaching a lot of people we need to get back to our roots and the way that our grandparents was raised and start raising everything, you know, on our own. And especially if we can't raise it on our own, buy American made. This, this should be an eye opener for a lot of people. And I know a lot of you ain't going to like this video and you're going to say, there's no beef shortage, blah, blah, blah. Well, try to go to your store and just see. And it might not be everywhere, but it was at my local store and I've been seeing it on Facebook and I just didn't really believe it because I'm, I haven't had a problem until now doing it. But don't be afraid to raise your own animals. I don't care if you just have an acre of land. If you have anything, you can raise chickens. That's providing you can raise your own meat chickens. 
You guys can see this chicken tractor right here. I got 26 Cornish Cross meat chickens in there that we're going to raise up and butcher and put them in the freezer. You guys can raise chicken for eggs. That's a source of protein as well. Try to be more self-sufficient. It is more important now than ever to be like that. Help your neighbor out. Maybe your neighbor has a little more land than you. Maybe you're a better gardener than your neighbor. Raise an awesome garden on your small plot of land. Let your neighbor raise the meat. Do your trading. Help each other out. That's the way it needs to be, just like the way it was back in the day. So anyways, that's just, uh, I, I wasn't even going to make a video, but we got all the shish kebab, shish kebab stuff set out. Got the goat meat thawing out, and um, I said, hey, this is the best time to make this video and talk about this thing, because it really angers me. Um, I actually went into Walmart and talked to some of the workers in there, and they said, their manager says, that is all that uh, Bentonville, which is the headquarters of Walmart, is sending them. I guess they're saying there's a there's a um, a whole shortage in the United States and only enough meat to go to every grocery store and all the uh, the uh, meat companies that buy all the uh, beef and have it processed are trying to split it up and give every little store a little bit so not just one store has a monopoly. So I don't know if I believe that or not, but. Take my word of advice. If you can raise your own animals, raise it. I promise you the meat will be better than anything you can buy in the store. So let's get to cooking this stuff. So I got my grill fired up. It is super hot. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It's way too hot. And uh, guys, I'm sorry for ranting, but it's just something that really bothered me after seeing that. You know, I see it over and over and I just couldn't really believe it. Then it hit home. So anyways... All right, so let's do this here. We got this fresh goat meat, and this what this is is just some stewed goat meat cut up, you know, for stew. And it's actually perfect for uh, shish kebabs. And I got some jalapenos. Got some onions. Put a shrimp on there. Gonna run out of room. All right. What I'm going to do is put all this on there and then I'll season it all together. Put some more meat. Got lots of meat here. I need to put more meat on. And shrimp. Alright, so I'm not going to bore you guys with doing this. I'm going to get this done and then I will be right back. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we got all our stuff put on our sticks. So now I'm just going to season it. Some seasoned salt and some black pepper. You can season it a little more if you want to get it on the grill. It's a lot of meat. That is our finished product before we put it on the grill. So we'll carry it over here, stick it on the grill, and let it cook. these bad boys cook and we'll be back all right guys these have been on here a couple of minutes let's check them here oh yeah just gonna go ahead and turn them all these mushrooms don't really want to stay on there real well and uh goat meat's very very lean so it don't hardly have any fat in it nothing like beef but it doesn't dry out 
like a lean piece of uh, beef though. Alright, let it cook a little more. So, it is done. And there is one key thing when you're cooking goat meat. So it's super, super important when you're cooking goat meat, do not overcook it. You want it somewhat like a medium rare because it starts getting super, super like tough and dry if you overcook it. So don't overcook the goat meat and it will taste wonderful, I promise. So guys, the moral of the story today is, I'm not trying to sell you guys on goat meat, but what I'm trying to say is try to be more self-sufficient. Don't rely on grocery stores for everything. Support your local farmers. If you do anything, support your local farmers. Even if you just buy fresh eggs from them, buy meat, chickens, whatever, support them. Because if something really big did happen, who are you going to rely on when you need groceries for your uh, family? I mean, uh, whether you're buying, you know, eggs and chickens or pork, beef, whatever, goats, support them. Uh, they're always going to be there when these big guys shut down because they their workers are sick and they can't come in. Oh, well, we're going to sell off all our livestock. We can't send them to the processor because the processors are shut down. You think the little farmer down the road is going to shut down? No, he's going to be getting up every morning, tending to his livestock, raising his animals happy locally raising vegetables whatever and uh you guys can go visit with them you know i know a lot of people's allergic to things maybe they can grow something for you that will uh better suit you better get something fresh from someone local or a friend and uh not have to pay that expensive money shipping things in and stuff like that but anyways guys i just wanted to kind of share that with you my experience that i just recently uh, had at uh, our local walmart not having any beef and uh, to be honest, I didn't even check the pork or the chicken, but from what I'm hearing, it's not just the beef, it's the pork, chicken, everything. They don't even sell any goat or sheep anywhere local around here at any grocery stores. So anyways, guys, we had a uh, long day today. I'm going to get this in the house so the family can eat. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Um, let me know if you guys, down in the comments, let me know if you guys support local farmers or do you just buy everything at the... Uh, big box stores like uh, Costco or Sam's or Walmart or whatever you got in your area. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.